Okay, I am super excited about this. I got my package in from makeplaincards.com. This is the card game I designed, very early prototype. And before I show it, before I even open it and see the very first copy, I'm gonna give a little bit of history. It started last year, maybe two years ago. I don't have a definite date of the idea, but I do know about last year's when I started the design work on it. It started as a Harry Potter themed card game called Dueling Club. And some of the inspiration has stayed, but it was a very spell and card game based. And a lot of these mechanics did make it through and some have been left behind or might make it through to expansions but not the actual artwork or anything like that because of copyright. Though maybe I might print some for conventions or something like that professionally and then just for conventions. But yeah, that's where it started. And it was very convoluted in the rules and then I narrowed it down a little bit. If you know me, you know I love party games. You got like Cards Against Humanity, you got like Hoax or Werewolf or any of those deception games. You got Exploding Kittens. And then one that me and one of my old friends um, found was Rock, Paper, Scissors, Bomb. I don't, we didn't like the rules, so we changed them. Where you draw five and you have them here and you decide preemptively what you're going to play but you have your options in front of you so you got like your rock rock paper scissors and then bomb bomb there was only like four in the whole deck so chances of slim but this is where the inspiration for my mechanics came in and i'm going to get into that in just a minute if you know me you know i love fantasy you know, I love all this kind of stuff. That's where this inspiration comes from. I'm going to move this, get it out the way, so I can check out the packaging. This isn't the finalized artwork. Nothing crazy like that. This is just me figuring it out. Real quick, I have a towel. This towel has been sprayed with 409 because this not being racist or anything, it came from China and I'm being safe. I've even, I spray everything I get in town too because I live in Boston. Ooh, very excited. Now I'm obviously not going to wipe the cards themselves down because they are paper. But there's the logo. Let's try to get it out of the glare with this fight. I'm not going to show you this first card in detail yet. I'm going to hold off a little bit. Because this first card may not even be in the final product. I've been thinking off and on about it. And this 55 card deck also will be much larger than the final product. I believe it's going to be like over 100 cards. Because it's a party style game, not a TCG as of right now. I do eventually want to make a TGC, TGC version, trading card version. Okay, so good deal. We're going to start off with some of the cards. I'm excited. I'm excited to have these in my hand. Oh my gosh. First you'll see. And I didn't print them out because I knew that I actually had these. This is one card that did stay throughout the entire process was the health card. And um, I meant to do more than eight. But my, my brain was fried when I was getting them printed uh, when counting. So I was like, oh, that seems enough. But it's really not. Um, each player... I think competitively each player should have about nine. It means you can take three hard hits and then you're dead. But for now, you got eight. Now 
Then we're gonna get into the spells. Fireball. Fireball, first tier, basic damage. Um, fire beats light, light beats water, water beats fire. Sorry, that's my printer. I had just printed some things. So, fireball, you, I believe you get five fireball. Yeah. Five fireball in the demo. And then we'll move to the next, which is splash. Splash is the bottom of the water. It does one damage. Oh, and if you look in the bottom, you'll see the current print it says Alpha Edition. I don't know if it'll focus on that or not, but that just tells me which edition I have printed in my hands, which obviously over time it will change. And then Spark. Spark is bottom tier of light. Um, it is the same Spark I believe I used for... Brilius, but that's okay. This is just very basic artwork. You get five of those. Next, I believe, is four. Yes, Flame Burst, tier two. Second tier Flame Burst, they do two damage. Boss. Second tier water is wave. You get once you get in four of those. Two damage. And bolt shock is tier two light. Once again, two damage. Now we're getting down to the threes. Inferno. Inferno. Mushroom cloud going on here, three damage. Now this won't be the playtesting video, this is just showing off the deck. Flood, you get three flood, three damage, third tier. Light storm. Light storm is three damage. Get three of them. And then we get into our prep cards. Yeah. Well, no. One last spell. This um, minus is off of damage that you would take. Let's say you just don't know what to play. At least this is a backup. Magic shield. good backup. It's basic defense. It's the only defense card. It is played during the spellcasting phase. And then we get into the prep cards because this this will wait to the end. Though you may have seen it just due to the posting because it is the lead card. You got two different types of prep cards in this edition. I've added tons of prep cards and a whole second set of spells. Yeah, your basic poison, well, no, basic potion is positive, and it's potion. And then your basic poison. I'll get into the tactics of that in just a minute. And then the uh, final card in the deck, and this version, the prototype deck, only has one in it. 55 card deck, Kid, you gotta have an odd number, so. As I said, this might not even stay, but I do like it. And I also really like the coloring on it. My copy on my computer doesn't have this coloring, but it does on the website. And it is Summon of the God. Basically, it's the Cthulhu card. It does three damage, it is a third tier, but it's weak against only Magic Shield. If you play this and they play Magic Shield, then boom, you're it's wasted. 
you don't take any damage, but neither do they. And there's only one in the deck. I don't know what I'm going to do with that in the future. Now I'm going to try just giving it a shuffle. They feel nice. Um, obviously, I'm not going to say they're bicycle standard because they're not. And I paid for the bottom bottom quality, but they're still good. Um, oh, some of the inspirations that came back. The ones from this artwork are the same from this and the skull. I added the tiniest little lightning bolt to just for the homage to where I got in the beginning. As I said, I might print some of these and I had been learning the basic core of how to print playing cards like actual good ones, print them on linen, uh, the adhesives, the coatings and stuff like that. So I may actually print the first first editions for sale, which you can buy these currently on the NPC website. Just know that it'll take about four weeks to get there. Makeplaincards.com. I can send you a link to the actual cards. Now we're going to get into the mechanics. And as I stated, you would typically have nine health each. I didn't think ahead because I wanted to make sure the spells were right. I didn't look at the health. But you would get three stacks of three. I'm going to place these two off to the side because... And then they go here. Three, th three stacks of three. Deck, center. Oh yeah. And for the meantime, I'm gonna just take that out. Deck would be shuffled by, if you want, you, both players can shuffle it, because you share a deck. I'm gonna stop the video, upload a part two. That was mostly the unboxing. This will be the gameplay. And I am going to do a actual gameplay mechanics video, hopefully, before I leave Boston. Um, I can't do too much because I do leave in a few weeks. So, Knoxville, I'll pick up this project and continue forth. Awesome.